We're getting all the items from the database, but what if we want to filter some of these items, not get literally everything, but get a subset of everything. And we wanna do that at the database level and not have to then filter through that uh, in Rust on the back end or necessarily on the front end either. So what I'm thinking about here is uh, searching through the priorities. So we have a priority null here, we have priorities A's and we have priority B's. Uh, so my thought is let's uh, add a parameter. So priority something like uh, A. Um, now, of course, this doesn't do anything right now, but this is this is the idea of want to uh, what I want to do. Well, if I head back into our get tasks here, uh, we want to have query parameters. If we remember back from the query parameter lesson, we need to create a struct for that. So we're going to have a pub struct. Uh, this is going to be a get uh, tasks uh, query params. Uh, we're going to have a priority, and this is going to be an option with this string inside. Now we're making this be an option because we don't always want to filter it by priority. We just want to filter it sometimes. We're going to have to derive deserialize uh, to serialize this out from a string into a Rust uh, object. And we're going to have to add in the query here. So query. Uh, you are going to be the, I guess, query params. And query of get task query params. Okay. Now I have access to this. We want to create the filters. Now, there's a couple ways we can create the filters. One, we'll always filter. And that's if we add this uh, before the all in here. And if we add in a filter, not, not a find filter. Uh, we can use tasks in this case. There we go, getting some help from this. Uh, we want on the column uh, priority, and we want this to be equal to, like, let's say, uh, well, whatever the query parameters is, right? So that would be uh, query parameters dot priority. So if I do this, this will technically work. And now I can filter by A or, oh, sorry, uh, by B. And that's, that's great. But if I remove this, we don't get nothing at all because it's a none, right? And we're, we're looking for a none in a database, but the database doesn't know what none means. Uh, and a null is not the same as a none. So we really need a conditional uh, filter. So let's go ahead and comment this out and we're gonna create a conditional filter up there. So first of all, we're gonna do a priority filter is equal to a uh, condition, um, uh, condition all. So it starts with just everything. I'm gonna make this mutable because we're gonna make changes to it. And we're going to do an if let sum of priority is equal to uh, the query params dot priority. Okay, well, this is the same as before. We want to just add this into the filter. Uh, now, we don't just do like filter straight like that. We're going to add it to the priority filter that we created here. So we're going to do um, priority filter add um, the condition is uh no i think it then um it's tasks uh we can actually see um under if we highlight filter here that that command if we highlight filter it actually shows us documentation of how to find this so we're going to go down Here's our condition. So condition all, uh, condition not add, and then then we can just do whatever we want to do. Oh, and we are doing an equals to this. So almost missed that. So this is going to be a uh, priority filter equals uh, priority filter add. 
uh, condition. Okay, so this is task column. I want priority equal to. Now, I don't have to have the option here. I can just put in the priority. Thank you. And that adds that. Uh, let's go ahead and set you. So I want this filter to now be this priority filter. All right, let's go back to Thunder Client and sort of test this out. So if I have filtering B, okay, I'm seeing B, I'm seeing A, great. And if I do nothing at all, uh, I get all of them. But if I do priority and I don't send anything in, I get nothing because it's that um, it's that none here. So now what's interesting is that I'm I'm kind of curious like where it's being hit because I don't think it's actually a a none because then that wouldn't be setting a priority filter. I think it's setting it to like maybe an uh, an empty uh, an empty string. Uh, let's go ahead and double check what that is. I'm going to do a debug on priority just to sort of see what we've got. I uh, don't want to move this. Let's do a reference to priority. And I'm going to open up our cargo watch down here so we can see what happens as soon as I hit with you being empty. Oh yeah, it's an empty string. Okay, so in order to check that, I want probably another if statement inside of here to check to see if priority is an empty string or not. Because if it's an empty string, there's a different way of checking like, hey, is, is well, priority null or not? So let's do an if priority is empty. So if you're empty, we want to do priority filter equals, well, I'm actually gonna move this. So priority filter at the base of this if statement. If you haven't seen this before, if statements can actually be full expressions that return things. Just both arms of the if statement have to return the same type of thing. So in this case, I'm gonna do our priority filter add. Uh, our condition is gonna be the task column priority is null. Okay, so I wanna search for is null. No semicolon because I'm returning out of the block. Uh, and then I want else. And I wanna move you in here, remove that semicolon and remove that. Now this does need a semicolon now here because this is an expression. Here's our priority filter that's being set from here. Um, okay, I am coming, okay, I'm gonna add in the priority filter there, everything's good, so hit save. All right, let's try this again. So we have no priority set at all, we get everything. Priority set, and we're getting A, okay, B, that's great, nothing at all, we get the nulls, and if we put in like a D, we don't have any at all. We get an empty, uh, an empty vector. Perfect. So now we are filtering properly based upon the priority and sort of like um, intelligently doing the filter uh, based upon like what we're expecting and what the user would of this API would expect as well. Anyways, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.